This topic covers chapter 13 from PHP for the web. I'm on page 380 in the book. Getting started. In this chapter, we're going to go ahead and create a database called My Quotes. I'm going to go to the databases tab. I'm going to type My Quotes. You choose the coalition as UTF-8. General CI. I'm going to say create. I'm going to choose my quotes database. I'm going to go to the SQL tab. I'm going to click my text edit. I've already typed this statement out that's in the book. So I'm going to create a table called quotes. I have quote ID, quote, which is a text field or text data type, source, which is a variable character set, favorite, which is a tiny integer, date entered, which is a timestamp, and my primary key is going to be quote ID. I'm going to select go. If I go to my quotes table and select it, if I go to structure, Here's the structure of my table. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this window. And I'm going to go into Dreamweaver. I have my PHP for the web folder already opened, chapter 13. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to make a new folder. I'm going to call this Solutions. In my Solutions folder, I'm going to right click I'm going to say new file and I'm going to call this MySQLi connect. I'm going to double click and open up this file. And in this file, I'm in the code tab. I'm going to go ahead and delete all of this information that's in here. And I'm going to go ahead and type my script. I went ahead and typed in the MySQL iConnect PHP file. This file is exactly the same as we did in Chapter 12. It says this file contains the database accents information. Now I am using a Mac computer, so it is a little bit different. My host is localhost. My password or my user is root, and my password is root. For those of you who are using a PC and you have not set a password, you would just have an empty string here. This is the name of my uh, database, which is called My Quotes. Here is my connection. I've used my constants that I've um, created. So I have DB host, DB user, DB password, DB name. This is just to check to see if I have um, successfully connected to MySQL. This will close my database connection. Just correct that. This will give me an error if for some reason it did not connect. I'm going to go ahead and put root back in here so I can go ahead and see if I have a successful connection. I'm going to go ahead and save and I'm going to test in a browser. And I have a successful connection to my SQL. So I have successfully connected to the My Quotes database. I'm going to go ahead and minimize that. Go back into Dreamweaver. Now that I have successfully tested my MySQL Connect file, I'm going to go ahead and make some modifications to this file. I'm going to go ahead and just comment out the echo statement, the MySQL statement. And I can leave this. This will just give me an error message if for some reason my connection did not work. I'm going to go ahead and save my file. Test it one more time just to verify. And I know I have a connection because I did not get the error message. I'm going to go ahead and close my tab. I'm going to go ahead and minimize. 
and I'm going to go back into Dreamweaver. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make a new file in my solutions folder in chapter 13. I'm going to right click on that. I'm going to say new file. And this new file is going to be called functions.php. This functions file is actually going to go into a includes folder in our solutions folder. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to say new folder. I'm going to call it includes. I'm going to go ahead and move my functions file into my includes folder. When it says update, I'm going to say don't update. I'm going to go ahead and open up my functions file. I'm going to go ahead and remove all the doc type information. I'm on page 385, creating the template. And I've done some things different than what the book has suggested, and I wanted to go over those with you. One of the things that I did first was I went ahead and I created my um, header file that is going to be used for our template. And what I did was I went ahead and put that file inside of my includes folder. The book tells you to go ahead and put it in a template folder, but we're going to do it as I've taught you in the classroom. We're going to put it into your includes file. So my header file that I have up here, I made some modifications to it so that I could see what it would look like uh, when I went to preview it. On page 385, the code on the left hand side, at the very top of the script, you're going to add in the function that was made on page 383. I don't have my function in this, in this script and the reason why is I want to go ahead and preview it and, and see if I'm if my template is working currently. So at the top you'll notice that the include file, the includes function file is not there. The other modification that I made was on the footer page. On my footer page, the modification that I made was on, on page 387. It tells you to put the div ID footer and there's nothing inside of there except content, the copyright symbol in the year 2011. I would like you to use the script that I taught you in class. This one goes ahead and adds in the start year. So we're going to start our year at 2013. We're going to make a new variable, we're going to use the date, and we're going to use the um, year in a four-digit format. And then we're going to do our conditional statement if start year is equal to um, this year, okay, then all we're going to do is echo out start year because it is equal to 2013. Next year when this rolls over, it'll be um, 2013 to 2014. So down here it'll say echo start year and then end dash and to put in an end dash if you go up to the insert menu HTML HTML special characters and end dash that's where you'll get the code for that end dash and we have this in um, um, curly braces so that it will output um, correctly from our browser. I have right here, this is a pipe character. The pipe key is right above the enter key on your keyboard and if you hold down the shift key that's how you can make that character and then I want you to put in your own name, close the paragraph, close the div tag. I move the container div down below the footer so that the the container would encapsulate the entire footer instead of having the the this information right here outside of my container the container is what keeps it centered in the middle 
What I did next was I went ahead and I made my index page. So I'm going to open up my index page. The page is called Creating the Home Page and it's on page 410. Now this is a really bare bones index page. All I have in this index page is just the include um, the header and the includes footer, nothing else. I put some comments up here that tell me what exactly this index page is going to, to do. But I didn't want to wait until script 1311 to see if I'm moving in the right direction. The other thing that I had to do first, if you open up chapter 13, the folder, you should have an htdocs folder in your in your folder hierarchy. If you open up that triangle, you have a CSS folder. If you right click on that CSS folder and you said edit, duplicate, or edit copy, either one, edit, copy, or duplicate, you go to your solutions folder and then you right click and you say edit, paste, and then make sure that your CSS file, your CSS folder, it just says CSS. There's no copy appended to the end of it. That has to be in your solutions folder or your when you go to render out, save to view in your browser, your index page, your CSS won't be there. There'll be nothing there. So if I go to my browser at the present time and I go to Preview in Firefox, here's all I have going on so far. My side of quotes, side admin, add quotes, view all quotes, and then a logout. And then here's my footer. This part right here, my side of quotes and this horizontal line, this is part of uh, the header. This part right here, this is part of the footer and this is the changeable content that's going to happen into our index file. But I wanted to see if at least I was on the right track to make sure that everything is viewable and nothing really works on this. If I do a command U just to make sure that I don't have any errors so far and it looks like everything is working as it should. I'm going to go ahead and close this. And I'm going to go ahead and close this as well.